So we're back again with now my second video of today and today has been a huge day for 2k It's actually crazy how much has happened today and one of the biggest things happened because as you guys know I've got a lot of tokens like 2222 to be exact But the issue with tokens is they just never updated the rewards So there was no point in getting new players like I've only ever bought one galaxy opal from the token market and that was David Robinson and the rest of them just weren't good enough. But that all changed today because 2K released new amethysts, new diamonds, new pink diamonds, and new galaxy opals in the token market. So first things first, we gotta have a quick look at the amethysts and they're not that great. Like there's an auto porter, sure he's not bad. Actually, he's pretty good, 95 three ball. Like, okay, well this is a very good cheap card. Not bad on defense too. 12 Hall of Fame badges, he has Hall of Fame range extender. This looks like a very good card if you're on a budget. There's also Trevor Ariza who's always a beast because he's six foot eight with a nine 93 three ball, 90 driving dunk. Wow, this card is a, look at the deep, what? This card is insane. Insane, Hall of Fame Interceptor as well. Just for an Amethyst, I'm liking the looks of this man. Oh, and also there's a Kendrick Perkins. I don't know how many people are gonna use this card. He's six foot 10, can't shoot a three, like not the greatest dunker. Okay defense, not great speed. Like does he have good tendencies? Yes, 100 for standing dunk. I mean, he's a big boy, but who's really gonna use him? Anyway, I kind of forgot to add that this is gonna be a token spending spree. I'm gonna spend pretty much all my tokens, so get hyped for that. But that was just a quick run through of the Amethyst. I'm not gonna buy either any of those because I've already got the Amethyst ball, but they did actually add quite a few diamonds too, and these ones don't look too bad. So there is a new Julius Randle. I don't know how I feel about this card. He's six foot eight and a power forward, so that's the only real issue. He's got an 83 ball, really good dunking, like good ball handling. He's pretty much an Andre Kirilenko that's not as good of a shooter or a defender. I feel like people will just want to get this card because he has a big name and also he's a big body. But personally, I don't really recommend this card. I feel like he'll be alright, but not insane. Next up, we've got Yusuf Nurkic. I don't think this will be a bad card. He's seven foot. He can kind of shoot the three ball with a 74-3. And I feel like he would have a good release too. He's got very good passing, not bad defense, like pretty good rebounding, pretty good speed too. 71 lateral quickness. Like looking at all of these cards, I don't know. They're just okay. Like I'm not gonna recommend that you guys pick these up. He's got a Hall of Fame flashy passer, which is kind of weird. Also, Dimer, he's a very good passing center, but I don't say that you should instantly go pick him up, in my opinion. And next up, we've got this Ron Harper. I actually don't know this dude's stats at all. He's a six foot six point guard. Okay, well, that's not bad. 85 three balls, 75 driving dunk, pretty bad ball handling for a point guard. 97 steal, he's insane on the defensive end. Very fast too, 98 lateral quickness. He has okay dunking tendencies too, and 20 Hall of Fame badges, Hall of Fame Dimer, clamps, intercept, a very good defensive ones. Does he have range extender on gold is a great question. Nope. So I don't know. I don't think I recommend that card, but one, I'm super excited for it. You guys know I love one thing in 2K and uh, it's that length, baby. Jonathan Isaac is one of the longest players in 2K. He's pretty much another Giannis because he's six foot 10, 88 on offense, 99 on defense though, 87 three ball, like 90 driving dunk, really good ball handling for a small forward, 98 block, 94 steal, 95 perimeter, 92 interior defense, really good rebounding, pretty good speed as well, 97 lateral quickness. Like I just love the defense and to think that he's six foot 10 at small forward is kind of crazy. The dunking tendencies are extremely good too. And then he comes with 18 hole Fame badges like the badges could have been a little bit better, but he comes with one of the best ones being Hall of Fame clamps, also interceptor, intimidator, pogo stick, and also he should come with quick draw. I'm pretty sure there it is. So I know I've already got the diamond ball, which you get for collecting 20 of the cards. So I feel kind of bad for wasting 60 tokens, but I don't think I'm wasting 60 tokens because I really like length and I need this card on the squad. So we're gonna pick up Jonathan Isaac with 60 tokens. Let's get it. Let's welcome him to the squad. And to be honest, out of all the new ones, that's probably the one I'd majorly recommend that you guys get. And next up, it's time to have a look at the pink diamond rewards. So 2K added four new pink diamonds here, and I'm actually going to get quite a few of them. I wouldn't be surprised if I get all of them because they released a Michael Beasley, a Joel Embiid, a D'Angelo Russell, and an RJ Barrett. So first things first, Michael Beasley is actually a really good card always in 2K. I love this release. I don't know why. But yeah, he's a six foot nine power forward dash small forward, and he's got a 
an 88 three ball, really good dunking. Again, like 86 ball handling is just what you see on every player now. Pretty good defense, but then 91 speed. I love that. 92 lateral quickness as well. He'll have insane tendencies. I was not wrong. And then 31 Hall of Fame badges on this man. And there are some very good ones here. He'll be able to throw it down with how many athleticism badges he has. He also has some pretty good defensive ones. Gold interceptor. Wish that was on Hall of Fame. Does he have range extender? Yes, he does on gold. So I think if you guys are a Michael Beasley fan, I definitely recommend this man. Next up, we've got my boy D'Lo. And this is a card I think I'm going to get. He's a point guard dash shooting guard. He's six foot five with 95 driving layup, 97 mid range, 94 three, 75 driving dunk, which is really high. He's got good ball handling and actually not bad defense at 86 perimeter. Very good rebounding and then pretty good speed as well. 91 lateral quickness. His mental stats aren't bad. Does he have good tendency? 80 driving dunk tendency, but it's the badges that are going to make this card so much better because he has 27 Hall of Fame. He better have Hall of Fame range extender, which he does. Also ankle breaker, dimer. He looks like a very good point guy with green machine as well. Fancy footwork, slithery finisher, and I'm sure he has gold. Um, I never really say I'm um in my videos. Fun fact. Gold quick draw, but he also has interceptor, clamps, and yeah, gold quick draw. So I feel like this is going to be a card that you see a lot of people use just because D'Lo is loved by a lot of people. But the next one that I think is going to be used even more is going to be this center, Joel Embiid. I thought he was going to come out in the packs today, but his seven foot at 99 on offense, 98 on defense, 91 three ball, 84 driving layup too. Like he's a very good shooter and very good dunker also not a bad passer 96 block and very good defensive stats great speed at 80 great rebounding too 96 strength actually pretty good lateral quickness at 79 and then he has good mental stats as well he better have good tendencies which he does and just to make things a little bit better he comes with 25 hall of fame badges and he also has quite a few shooting ones here which is nice to see does he come with range extender it would surprise me he has hall of fame intimidator Unfortunately, not range extender on Hall of Fame, but that probably saves the game. He does have it on gold and quick draw as well. So not too bad, really. He has friendly. I feel like there's not many players that have friendly as their personality trait and expressive in the same, but Joel Embiid is one of them. And I think this is one card that I highly recommend you get. But finally, the one I'm most excited for is RJ Barrett. I don't think above his Sapphire, we've seen a card of this man. And I might have to do something to try and get him in Zion's Legacy because obviously he was his teammate. So we might have to figure that out. He's a 97 overall shooting guard dash small forward with 92 driving layout, 94 three, 95 driving dunk, really good ball handling and passing, great defense at 92 perimeter, pretty good rebounding, good speed at 94, 95 vertical, 94 lateral quickness, like great mental stats too. And then he comes with 100 alley-oop tendency. That's weird, but 95 for driving and flashy dunk. And just to make things better, he comes with 27 Hall of Fame badges too. One being Acrobat, Relentless Finisher, Range Extender, Hot Start, which you don't see too often, Clamps, Plot shooter, downhill, pogo stick. Like, he just looks very athletic and also like a very good shooter. Gold intimidator and also gold quick draw too. So this is one card I'm definitely going to come back to and pick up. But the reason I'm waiting is because they also released three, four new Galaxy Opals. The first one being this Bradley Bill, and it's um kind of a weird picture, but obviously he's a 99 of both offense and defense. And of course, he's going to be a crazy good shooter with a 99 three ball. The crazier part is he has a 90 driving dunk, also 90 ball handling. Like this card is just an all round beast and you would expect Bradley Bill not to have the greatest defense. Also not the greatest athleticism, but he's actually very fast. Also got 94 lateral quickness, great mental stats and pretty good dunking tendencies too. And then yes, 36 Hall of Fame badges. I don't really need to go through these ones. You know he's going to have range extender and quick draw on Hall of Fame. Pretty much all the shooting ones too. This looks like a beastly card and I feel like it's going to be kind of underrated. Next up, there's a Galaxy Opal Josh Smith and this card is always a beast in 2K. He's a 99 on offense and defense. He's got a 93 ball, 98 standing, 98 driving dunk too, 86 ball handling, like great steal. His defense is always insane and he's got very good speed as well. 96 lateral quickness, 98 stamina. Look at those mental stats. He's a smart boy and uh, I love the looks of those tendencies. Just to make things better though, 35 Hall of Fame badges. I hope he comes with range extender. I'm actually not sure if he does. He does come with clamps, interceptor, intimidator, all the defensive badges pretty much, but unfortunately not too many shooting ones, but he does have them on gold by the looks of things including Rage Extender there. So I was surprised that they actually released a Tim Duncan, but he's here and he's a 99 on both offense and defense, six foot 11, 88 three ball, 97 mid range, like very good dunking stats, very good passing, especially for his position. And I feel like Tim Duncan is gonna be a card that quite a few people use. But personally in 2K, I just never liked Tim Duncan. Wow, he is, um, he is very smart, but that that's suitable for him. Very good dunking tendencies as well. And 39 Hall of Fame badges, bro. This is like game changing how many badges 
are being given to these players. Pretty much every defensive one he's got. Unfortunately, not too many shooting ones, but he probably will have range extender on gold. No, he doesn't. But at least he has quick draw and 59 badges all up is kind of crazy. But the one I'm definitely most excited for is none other than Galaxy Opal, Zach Levine. This man had one of my favorite pink diamonds in the game and he just got a Galaxy Opal that can also run point guard and shooting guard. And check these stats, 99 on offense, 97 on defense. I expected that to be a bit higher, but he's six foot five. He also has a money release with a 96 driving layup and 96 three ball. Obviously insane dunking at 99 driving dunk. Very good ball handling. And he's very athletic with 94 speed to 99 vertical, like 93 lateral quickness. His defense definitely isn't bad. Let's hope these dunking tendencies are good. And yeah, they don't disappoint. And as for the badges, this is what makes him even better because he has a lot of the shooting badges, including range extender on Hall of Fame, Lob City finisher, Lob City passer, Hall of Fame clamps just to make things better, quick first step, interceptor, which is one of my favorites, contact finisher. Like he's just one of the most athletic finishers and also one of the best shooters in the game. So there's really not too much wrong with this car. So now out of the Galaxy Opals, which ones do I want? Now we have to have a little look at my team and I think the two positions I want to upgrade it's kind of crazy. Let me actually sort out my team real quick. All right, that's what it looks like. Is I think backup shooting guard and backup small forward. So the first one, I don't even have to think about. I know I'm getting in for backup shooting guard. We're going to get Galaxy Opal, Zach Levine. 750 tokens is definitely a lot, but there's our second Galaxy Opal right there. And now I'm sort of tossing between Tim Duncan or Josh Smith. I know Bradley Beal is going to be nice and a lot of people will probably want me to get him and do a gameplay on him, but he's just like, I, I have too many shooting guards. Like I'm not even going to use Ray Allen. So I think the player I'm going to use is Josh Smith. This man just looks like such a good defender. He's also got length and that's what I love to see. And also that was my third Galaxy Opal. So if we go over to the agenda, you guys will see I'm about to get an extra 150,000 MT. Not complaining about that. Thank you 2K. So now this is the new squad. Um, it might be a little crazy. Our only pink diamond is Giannis and that we're only running him because it's Giannis. But yo, we still have 665 tokens. So it's time to go into these pink diamond ones. And of course I'm getting RJ. Then the next one I'm going to get is Joel Embiid. And you know what? I kind of live that YOLO life. We're going to get all of them. <laughs> Was this a good decision? I really don't think so, but I need it to try and get the fireball. So we're going to get all of them. So I've now created a little team of the players that we picked up. It's kind of crazy. 2000 tokens. I'd been saving them for ages, but look at all the players we just got. Galaxy Opal, Zach Levine, and Galaxy Opal, Josh Smith. I've got a smile on my face, and I don't think that's going to be wiped off because I'm so happy we were able to get these players. So yeah, these are all the ones I highly recommend you guys pick up. And yeah, I'll make sure to get some gameplays out for you guys because it should be entertaining. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of talking, but that's me. And yeah, be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.